<coughs> Dear friends, I am going to tell you about uh, uh, reverse indicator shaft alignment formula, how it has been derived and I will show you this derivation of formula by this uh, uh, figure. So it, you will find it interesting. Uh, some people are interested to know uh, how the formula has been derived and uh, some proof. This is a good habit. So for, for my dear engineers and uh, technicians, I will try to explain you. First I explain you in short words about the uh, reverse indicator alignment method and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, basic things then I will explain you how this formula comes so dear friends this is your pump which is stationary unit here you don't add or remove shims and this side is motor movable this is the required position and this is this is the motor this is the present position your motor is the shaft is passing from here and this is motor is a movable unit you can see here this motor is the movable unit where you you are going to add or remove the shims and this is your present position uh, this is your present position and this is your required position it is written here required position okay let's see here this ba is the reading which you take on the pump side ba you make it zero then you go down and you find ba in the bottom same is here is the bb reading the reading which you take on the motor is called bb on the top you make zero then you come the bottom this is for vertical uh, in the vertical direction uh, formula and same formula you can use for horizontal side also so you can see here that this motor is a fixed this pump is a sorry this pump is a fixed uh, unit we sh say it uh, stationary unit we are not going to add or remove shims here so if this shaft pass from the bottom here so that point which is passing to in the lower side that will be minus if it goes from here if it is it falls in this area and if this shaft is passing from here or that particular point where you are taking the reading it falls in this area then it will be plus so we make here this will be always uh, the, this will this will be the always like this so we put plus here and minus here so now see now come to this side motor side if this now this motor is passing from this point and here we are taking the reading so since this motor shaft is down from the required position and if you take reading from here it will be plus your fixture is fixed here so if you take the reading you will get plus so anywhere you take the reading and if it is and at that point is falling here below the required uh, sh shaft position it will be always plus and if this shaft point where you are taking the reading uh, your alignment fixture is fixed here and you are taking the reading on any point and that point is above this required axis the reading will be minus for example if you take reading here if you take reading here this point is below so it will be plus but if you take reading here on the shaft then this reading will be minus you can see here, here I, so this this is minus area and this is plus area now come here on the pump side you are so, so from here to here what is the distance ba over 2 you know we, we this is the offsets readings on the rim readings so what if you are taking the reading on the pump side and the reading is ba it will be minus for example it is minus 400 millimeter so this distance will be BA over 2 and it will be minus 200 millimeter. Now you are taking reading on the motor side. Fixture is fixed here. Both the readings are taken on the rim. So if you make 0 here and you go and you take the reading at this point, it will be BB over 2 and it will be plus. If it is plus 200 millimeter, this distance will be 
plus 100 okay gentlemen and what will be the this distance what will be the this distance this distance this distance you which you see here if you add this distance then you will get this distance minus 200 millimeter plus 100 then you will get 100 this will be the distance which you will get now come here coming here now this is this fs you can see here this is a front support and you have to remove the shim fs from here and this is minus and you can see here ba over 2 this reading is also minus so from here to here the distance is fs plus fs plus ba over 2 this is minus this is minus this is minus this is minus similarly if you come to this side total distance from here to here is bs plus ba over 2 this is ba over 2 you can see here you come to this uh, um, opposite to this side you come here to this side this is same ba over 2 and it is minus this is also minus so this total distance is bs plus ba over 2 this total distance is now this triangle which is n m n and n r w and triangle n y t these three triangles are similar triangles you can easily prove them prove it because, because so you can get the relation from here uh, very easily you can see here f s plus b a over 2 which is this which is f s plus b a over 2 this is this is f s plus b a over 2 this distance this total distance over this distance this distance is d2 is equal to this distance this distance this distance is ba plus bb over 2 divided by d1 so this this is one relationship you are getting you can see this triangle and rw and nm and they are similar triangles so you can write this this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, equation here okay similarly this triangle n w t and n m n they are similar triangles so you can write now this relationship this is b s plus b a over 2 which is this side and i am divided by d3 this distance is from here to here is d3 is equal to again coming here this side is b a over 2 plus b b over 2 which is same b a plus b b divided by 2 over d1 so this is d1 here so this is how you derive this uh, relationship and then you can arrange it this uh, formulas and you will get this ones written on the top f s is equal to this and b s is equal to this so this is very interesting to find out and derive the formula for reverse indicator alignment and it is very interesting everything is very interesting in this if you want to understand uh, thank you very much see you next time